Assassin's Creed Codename Red could be the evolution the franchise needs. Could Ubisoft have finally figured out how to fix the franchise's biggest problems with Red? While it's still too early to say, there are signs of massive improvements, especially when it comes to bridging the gap between classic and RPG experiences. So without further ado, let me explain that. Assassin's Creed Red transports us to the thrilling world of feudal Japan. This upcoming title marks the next major installment in the series developed by Ubisoft Quebec, the team behind Assassin's Creed Syndicate and Odyssey. Red also holds the distinction of being the first game within the newly announced Infinity Platform, which will serve as a central hub for the modern-day storyline and connect future Assassin's Creed experiences. This long-requested setting has fans buzzing with anticipation, but can Ubisoft Quebec live up to the hype and deliver a truly exceptional feudal Japan experience? While Ubisoft remains tightly about specific gameplay details, some credible rumors suggest exciting change for the franchise compared to the last four games. We will delve into those rumors in a moment, but first, let's explore the historical context and the potential of this captivating setting. Feudal Japan wasn't just about cherry blossoms and pagodas. The era we are likely exploring in red, the Golden Age of Samurai which takes place between 1185 to 1603, was a time of fierce warriors, strict codes of honor known as Bushido, and bustling cities like Kyoto. Imagine navigating a world where samurai wield katanas alongside archers with deadly yomi and warriors wielding fearsome naginatas. This was a society built on strict social classes, offering a rich tapestry for Ubisoft of Quebec to weave their Assassin's Creed narrative into. With this historical context in mind, the possibilities for Red become even more exciting. Now, let's delve into those rumors about potential gameplay evolutions and see what's new. Could Assassin's Creed Red be taking a page out of Syndicate's book with its dual playable characters? Rumors suggest so, especially since Red could be making history, pun intended, by featuring not just any assassins but historical figures as its protagonists. Leaks hint at a playable female shinobi named Naoi Fujibayashi, daughter of the legendary ninja leader Fujibayashi Nagato and the male samurai inspired by Yasuke, the renowned African warrior. How will Ubisoft Quebec weave these real-life figures into Assassin's Creed lore is remain to be seen, but I'm personally really excited to experience their stories. It appears Quebec plans to revolutionize the stealth mechanics with Red. Imagine stalking your prey from the tall grass while lying on the ground in the new prone position. This, combined with the ability to extinguish light sources like torches, could transform the stealth experience completely. What this means is day and night cycles might take on new meaning as you strategically manipulate shadows to become the ultimate predator. This emphasis on light and shadow is inspired by Splinter Cell, and if done right, could potentially make AC Red a true return to form for stealth-focused Assassin's Creed fans. Assassin's Creed Red promises a major evolution in combat. For fans of Valhalla's brutal combat, Red reportedly dials it up to 11 with even more gore and decapitations. But will this cater to those who crave a more tactical approach? Assassin's Creed Red could feature a more nuanced combat system compared to Valhalla, with a rumored combat stance system similar to Ghost of Tsushima, Neo, and Like a Dragon Ishi. These stances could offer strategic advantages for different combat situations. We'll have to wait and see how Ubisoft Quebec implements it. Beyond the combat, some interesting new mechanics are rumored as well. Destructible environments are one of those that could play a major role in the playthroughs. Imagine using your katana to smash through screen doors or shattering environmental objects to create new pathways during combat. However, don't expect fully destructible environments similar to Battlefield games. The other new mechanic is the addition of grappling hook, which has got me a bit skeptical and I will talk about it later in the video. The map size in red is rumored to be somewhere between Valhalla and Odyssey's sprawling landscapes. While this might be daunting for some, it could also offer an expansive world filled with secrets to uncover. Here's where things get exciting. Exploration in red could take inspiration from Elden Ring, with Ubisoft Quebec seemingly taking a less hand-holding approach compared to older games. Imagine a map less cluttered with icons encouraging you to forge your own path and discover points of interest organically. This design philosophy could reward curiosity and create a more immersive world filled with surprises. Beyond the map size, exciting changes are rumored for exploration and player engines. Red might feature more intelligent NPCs who can react to your actions. Hopefully this adds a layer of immersion without reaching the frustration levels seen in some past titles. 
You can even recruit some of these NPCs, similar to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. But where will you take your new companions? Red might boast a complex hideout system that surpasses even Valhalla's settlement. Imagine a place where you can fully customize everything, from displaying your hard-earned weapons and building an armory to changing the interior design. This rumored hideout system has the potential to be deeper than anything we've seen before in the series. AC Red will boast a dynamic weather system. Imagine the storms affecting visibility during the stealth missions or using heavy rain to your advantage to mask your movements. How this weather system will truly impact the gameplay remains to be seen, but it has the potential to add another layer of depth and immersion to the world. Beyond the potential weather effects, a major change is coming under the hood of Assassin's Creed Red. Ubisoft is transitioning all its Assassin's Creed studios to a unified Anvil pipeline engine. This isn't just about the streamlining development across studios. It could also pave the way for exciting technological advancements that benefit all future titles. A key feature of this engine for Red is going to be ray-traced global illumination, which essentially means a more realistic lighting behavior similar to the real world. With everything we know about Assassin's Creed Red, I believe it could possibly please everyone, even though it may seem impossible at the moment. Here's what I hope to see. Distinct gameplay styles between the protagonists. I don't want Naoi and Yasuke to be simple reskins of one another. In my opinion, each should specialize in one skin. For example, one in stealth and the other in combat. This in return adds an interesting dynamic to the game. While no details about the parkour mechanics were shared, a return to focus with puzzle platforming sections, better parkour courses, and improved parkour animations are expected. Also, while Ubisoft is adding mechanics from other titles such as Splinter Cell, why not add a horizontal wall running similar to Prince of Persia? It would essentially alter the game's level design and allow room for more intriguing puzzle sections. As for the grappling hook, I mentioned being skeptical about it. Hopefully, it's nothing like the one in Syndicate which was closer to Batman's grappling hook from Arkham series. But I don't want this mechanic to make the parkour redundant. That was one of my biggest problems with Syndicate's grappling hook as it slowly made climbing the buildings feel useless. Do you think the grappling hook will complement the parkour system or make it obsolete? Tell me in the comments down below. Overall, the new stealth mechanics, possible new parkour improvements, and new additions such as the hideout and recruitment system cater to classic fans of the series, while a deeper combat system and better exploration could also be a win for RPG fans. The wait for the official gameplay reveal is tough, but with its setting, rumored features, and the potential to cater to different playstyles, Assassin's Creed Red has the potential to be a fantastic entry in the series. So stay tuned for more info about the game in the upcoming months. Also, if you enjoy the series just like me, watch the video on the left as I will talk about Mirage's biggest problems, or you can take a look at the video on the right where I talk about the world design of Valhalla.